Hey guys, it's Robin, your independent Zenzi consultant. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. It is What I've Been Warming Wednesday, and this week we actually have two weeks worth of What I've Been Warming, because last week we were all sick and so I didn't upload. Um, I'm feeling mostly better now, a little bit hoarse still, but mostly good. Um, so What I've Been Warming Wednesday is the series where I just take you through what I've warmed in my house over the last week, in this case two weeks, and let you know where I warmed it, how it did, and all of that stuff so you might decide what might work well in your house. I also have the buttercream collection here um, with warm reviews as well as the scent circle. So I'll go through those first just so that they're out of the way and then we'll get into everything else that I warmed over the last couple weeks as well. So the first buttercream scent that I warmed was candy cane buttercream. This incidentally was also the first one to sell out when these went live on Monday. Um, so these are all sold out at this time. Um, it is my understanding they're going to be pouring more of them and making them available in the four bar bundle. Um, not the kit with the scent circle, but in like just a four bar wax bar bundle. Um, check with your consultant for dates on that. As far as I know, there are no dates just yet, um, but they are coming. So the first one I did was candy cane buttercream. This one is like peppermint candy canes, um, vanilla bean and buttercream. And this one on cold is excellent. It was my favorite of the bunch on cold. And on warm, it might have been my favorite too. It was very good. It's a nice like 50-50 balance of that frosting to peppermint ratio. Um, I really enjoyed it. In my open layout, I did the full bar. It was about a medium strength at peak, which was okay. It's not gonna blow you to the house. And if you have a larger open layout, I wouldn't recommend it for there. But for my smaller open layout and like regular height ceilings, it did okay. Um, my issue with this was longevity. My husband and I both loved the scent, but it hit a wall at like the five or six hour mark, like pretty quickly into the warm, maybe even earlier than that, like four to six hours, somewhere in there. And it went from like a medium to a light, like maybe a two out of 10. Um, so that was disappointing. And then by the next morning, you could no longer smell it at all. So it did less than a day. Um, all in all, I would say like, it's kind of an eight hours type bar. I would say this is one of the ones where if you put it in when you get home from work, you'll be able to enjoy it through the evening, um, but you're probably not going to get much more duration out of it than that. And I would say medium sized zones are probably best for this. I would not do this in a very large open layout or a space with high ceilings. And that is actually the case with all of the buttercream bars. Next up we have caramel buttercream. This one I did in our bedroom. I did two cubes in our bedroom. This one is caramelized sugar and vanilla bean buttercream frosting. And this one on cold is very good. It smells like gimme candy from the September scent of the month, which I love. So I was really happy with the scent and it did quite nicely. It was about a medium strength in the bedroom again. Um, did just fine. It's not gonna blow you out of the room, but it was a nice kind of like background caramel type scent. Um, it kind of reminded me on warm, it went a little bit less gimme candy on warm and a little bit more of the caramel note from like caramel chestnut um, without the nuttiness and without that kind of toasty ember note that caramel chestnut has. Um, so I thought that was very nice. I really enjoyed it. Longevity was an issue with this one as well. I want to say it was like 12 hours or so, um, less than a full 24 hours for sure. Um, so not even a one dayer. So again, it was fine for in strength. It was very high in scent appeal, um, but longevity struggled with this one as well. Um, and that was kind of the theme of these bars. <clears throat> then we have gingerbread buttercream. This is one I was very excited for because we get so few gingerbread scents. And so this one is like nutmeg, ginger, um, and vanilla bean and buttercream. And it's good, it is. My thing with gingerbread scents is sometimes they tend to be very spicy. This one is not very spicy. It is a nice blend of that very sweet kind of frostingy scent with gingerbread. I really liked it. And this one I had in the open layout, did the full bar. And this one, it was one of those ones, and I think Brad on, from Brett and Brad on YouTube were saying the same thing about this one. It started, you put it in the warmers, it starts to smell a little bit and you're like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good. And it like, starts and then it never quite gets there. It just doesn't get to where it needs to be. It just kind of fell flat. So it started out really good. It's like, yes, this is gonna be delicious and rich, but then it just never quite gets delicious and rich. It's very nice. It just doesn't get strong enough in the space. Um, I'm not sure what it was. It just, it just 
left me wanting more. Um, so with this one, it was a little disappointing that way. And again, um, medium strength, maybe a 5 out of 10. This one might have gone longer than the other two by a little bit. Um, I think it was maybe like 12 or 14 hours, but pretty darn light towards like after that six hour mark, it did hit a wall again. That was all, all of these bars did. Um, they hit a wall at like six hours and then they were very light after that. But this one went a little bit longer than the other two. Um, yeah, this one I still have high hopes for. I do think out of the three, this one might age very nicely because spice notes do tend to develop over time. And this one does have spice notes to it. Um, so I think this one has potential for aging well. So I am going to, I have purchased more. I'm going to put this in my club along with candy cane buttercream. And I'm going to see if these do better in six months. And if they do, great, they'll stay in my club for a good long time. If they don't, they will probably get taken out of my club and free up the space for something else. Because I do really want gingerbread buttercream especially to work. Because we get so few gingerbread scents with Scentsy and I really, really do like this one. Um, I just, I need it to work better. So I do think again, probably not open layout worthy. If it doesn't work in my open layout, it's probably not going to work in most open layouts. Um, mine is on the smaller side and again, like low ceilings. Um, so yeah, I would say like bedrooms, offices, TV rooms, that sort of thing um, would be your best bet with this one and with all of the buttercream collection. Um, I did want to put a final note in about the scent circle. So I was able to purchase the early access kits a while back with a little box and the scent circle. You get the 3D scent circle in candy cane buttercream. It's very cute. And that's about the only good thing I can say about it. Um, this one was disappointing. I think this is probably the biggest dud of a scent circle I've ever used, to be quite honest. So we put this in one evening. We were going out for dinner for my sister's birthday. Put this in, go for dinner, have the cake, do the visiting, all of that. A few hours later, we go to come home and this thing's already not smellable, like a few hours later. Um, you could smell it on the way there. And I will say what you could smell when it was like first being smellable was not the same as the candy cane buttercream bar. Um, like I said, the bar, a very high scent appeal um, for my whole family. The scent circle, a little weird. Um, it kind of reminded me, if you're Canadian, Tim Hortons had those like Justin Bieber, like Bieber bit Tim bits. It was a, it was a thing. Um, it was a weird thing, but like Justin Bieber Timbits, they were like kind of this like very like overly sweet kind of chemically cake type flavor. Um, and this smelled like those tasted, which wasn't ideal in my opinion. Um, did not care for this, like right out the gate. And then it was okay because three hours later you couldn't smell it ever again. So I did leave this in my car for like five or six days just in case it came back. I thought maybe it's too cold, but it wasn't really cold then. And then I was like, well, maybe it just needs like a couple days. I don't know. It never came back. That was it. Now, Linda H here on YouTube has a theory and I have had the same experience she has. So she has a theory that the scent circles with the kind of like shiny paper don't perform as well as the scent circles with the kind of slightly rougher texture to them. Now, I don't know why that would be the case, but that has been my experience as well. And this is the like shiny paper type of scent circle. And in my experience, these do not last long. The ones with that shiny paper um, compared to the ones with the rougher finish. I don't know why that would be, but that seems to be the case. And this is one of those. So, I mean, if I was gifting the scent, I wouldn't hesitate to gift the buttercream bars. I do think most people are going to like those. I would be hesitant to gift the scent circle though, because it's not a good representation of Scentsy product in my opinion. And I think if I were to receive this as a gift, knowing nothing else about the brand, I'd be like, wow, that did not last very long. And I would be kind of disappointed. So as an introduction, as a, as a holiday gift set item, this is disappointing because this is meant to be a giftable set and it's a fabulous giftable set. I do think if someone's brand new to Scentsy and this is their first introduction to the brand, this is not a good representation of it. Overall, the scent circle is kind of a moot point. It is sold out and not coming back, but there is that. Um, like I said, the bars should be back in stock at some point as at least a four pack. Um, so you should be able to get your hands on them if you missed out soon. Then we will hop into my daughter's room here. 
She had wanted, she'd picked this out for her room actually. This was the Winter Spice Sample Cup from Harper James. This one smells like, um, you know the packs of gum with like the paper wrappers and they're like, like long sticks of gum with like the foil on the outside of them? This smells like old fashioned gum. It smells like the cinnamon gum and the wintergreen gum combined. And it's good. It's very nice. It's very like nostalgic, kind of Christmassy and wintry. She really liked this one. This one is just like a little sample cup. It went in her room. This one outperformed our expectations. It was a good medium strength, even just this little sample cup for her whole room. And it lasted like three days. Like it went a solid three days, just this little cup. So this one did very well. I'm not sure if this is still available on Harper James's website. She did her Christmas launch, I think November 5th. So it's been a couple weeks or 10 days, somewhere in there. Um, but if this is still available or if it gets repoured, um, if you like wintergreen or cinnamon type scents, this would be a good one to pick up. It's a good performer. Then we did Polar Bear Hug. This is one that we just do really every year at this time of year in her room. And this one is like just cozy and sweet and soft and a little bit fresh. It's like cozy musk and I think there's like blackberry jam in here potentially, maybe pear. There's like some interesting notes in here. Um, but it, overall it's a very soft, sweet, kind of cuddly little scent and it's a great one for a bedroom, especially a kid's room in my opinion. Um, this is one of those ones where you put it in, it never gets super strong, it's like a medium at peak, but it goes for days, like three, three to four days. It does lovely. Then we had done North Pole by Harper James in Amelia's room. She seems to really like the Harper James wax. I think it's the colors and the labels. Um, so we did North Pole. It is spearmint, peppermint, and vanilla. And it smells like buttermint candies. Yes, it does. It smells like those, like, like I don't know if they're white chocolate, but like those pastel colored, like, buttermint candies you can get in bulk at the grocery store. It smells like that. It's delicious. Very, very yummy. Not a super long lasting scent. Um, it's definitely a one dare, but very, very nice while it lasts. And I would repurchase that. Then on to bathrooms. So here is one I did. I did Fearless by Nature. I did one cube in each of our bathrooms. This one is like wildflowers, maybe fresh air, maybe some like tree type notes. It's a very fresh, clean type scent without being overly pine. It is just kind of a clean, wintry, fresh scent. I really like this one. It's also quite a good performer in my house. Um, it's reasonably strong, maybe in like a medium plus, maybe a seven out of 10. Um, and this one went for like three or four days as well. So this one did very, very well in the bathrooms. I've done it in my open layout before. It didn't last as long, um, but in the bathrooms, it went for a good long time. So I was really happy with that. Very nice, fresh bathroom scent, especially for early winter. Really enjoyed that. This is not available. It was part of the Frozen collection. Um, I hope we see that back again one day but I'm not sure. Really liked that. Then right now in bathrooms, I have Arctic Kiss, one cube in each of our bathrooms. This is kind of a general catalog fall winter scent. And this one, I'll put the notes below, but to me it smells like, like honeydew melon with like just like the teeniest like suggestion of mint. Like it's not minty by any means. There's like a suggestion of mint. It's like a crispness and like melon. It's wintry but fruity somehow. Um, it's a really nice fresh type bar and very sweet as well. And I think if you're not into the traditional like Christmassy type scents, you'll probably really like Arctic Kiss. Um, so yeah, also a good performer. Have that in our bathrooms right now. It's only been a day, but this one typically goes for a day or two and it's a reasonably strong performer as well. Then I did Vitamin S from the All Is Well collection. This one smells like like minerals and rocks. Yeah, it's like, like minerals and rocks. I really like this one. Um, it, it smells like rocky minerals. It's just delicious. Um, aquatic scents are tricky for me because I don't like tropical aquatics usually and I don't typically like um, like the sharp ozone aquatics. But this one is not. This one's very just like clean and smooth and kind of minerally and just very spa-like. And I really enjoy it. Um, so I did one cube in each bathroom. This one went for ages. It has aged very well. I don't remember it being this good of a performer when I first warmed it last year, but this went for like four or five days in both bathrooms. Like it was a very long duration performer, um, at least a solid medium and it tapered down over the days, but you could smell it for five days. Like it was amazingly good. 
So highly recommend vitamin S if you ever see it in your travels. Um, it is no longer available, but I do wish I had picked up another bar. Uh, and that sometimes, that sometimes that's what's happening is that you get this and it, when I first warmed it, I was like, it's okay. It's like a very average performer. It's fine. I don't need more. So I didn't purchase any more. This is all I have. Um, I wish I had purchased one more bar because I really, really do like this. So yeah. And with age, it's actually gotten quite a bit stronger. So there is vitamin S. Then I did another all is well bar. This is the vitamin R relax bar. This one is like amber and I think bergamot. And it has like a very sugared, like almost like sugared tea component to it. It's very like sweet. It's like cozy, wintry pink haze. I really like this one. I did one cube in the guest bathroom. Um, and this is kind of an odd scent for a bathroom, but I just wanted this scent and I needed to change the bathroom wax. So I figured why not? Um, this one tends to do quite well in bedrooms for me. It didn't do as well in the bathroom. And sometimes that is the case. You find a scent and it does well in some spaces of your house and then doesn't do so well in others. So even though the bathroom is a much smaller room than the bedrooms, it didn't do as well in the bathroom. Um, you could smell it maybe for like eight hours in there and then it was pretty much done. And for bathrooms, I like a scent that'll go for a few days so I don't have to finic like be finicking with bathroom wax. Um, but yeah, this one I would not do again in the bathroom, but I do adore this scent and it is in my club. Love that one. Then on to our bedroom. So Brandy from Brandy's Bricks and Bars and I had done a swap a while back where we just kind of traded six bars and I ended up with some toasted marshmallow and I was so excited for it. So thank you, Brandy. That was so much fun. Um, so toasted marshmallow is like, I think, malted caramel or malted vanilla and like caramelized sugar. I don't know. It's marshmallow. It's like toasted, not overly toasted, but like slightly toasted marshmallow. Just like starting to get brown and crispy but not like black. Um, delicious. And Brandy had warned me that this one is quite strong. So because I can't get more of this, I wanted to ration it. So I only used one cube to start and I thought if, I, if it's not strong enough, I'll add more, but it was strong enough. It was like a medium plus, maybe a seven or eight out of 10 with just one cube in our like fairly large bedroom. So it did very well. Um, two days, delicious, loved it. And I can't even describe how good this was. Like it was just delicious. And like, I think the mix potential here is unlimited. I think this would mix well with so many things. I don't know if I'm going to be doing a lot of mixing with it because I want to like savor it. Um, but if we ever get this back, it's going in my club and I'll be doing all kinds of mixes with this, um, but loved it. So thank you, Brandy. And then again, that was like a nice strong performer and very long lasting as well. So if you ever see toasted marshmallow in voting, Highly recommend that one. The other thing I did was vanilla mint. And this one I think is like vanilla, frozen citrus, and like wintergreen maybe. Yes, this one's just pretty. It is just pretty. Like how do you, it does have mint. It's not a very like strong mint. This is like a very soft, pretty vanilla floral, but slightly like fresh mint scent and it's just pretty it's like very wintry not Christmassy but like wintry um, although I think you could pass with this all year round quite nicely and this is one of those scents that does beautifully in any room of your house it could do living rooms kitchens bathrooms bedrooms wherever you want to put this this will be beautiful um, not available anymore they took it out of the catalog I have no idea why um, but it is still available in the cleaning products in the fall winter catalog so this one has a sad story this time um, I put this into our bedroom, two cubes, smell, had, had, it started melting, was doing quite nicely, and we weren't feeling well at that point, so I thought this would be a nice, like, kind of soft, not overly intense scent to have in the background, with a little bit of mint, very nice. Um, but then at that point, we lost our sense of smell. So I don't remember most of this bar because I couldn't smell it after a certain point, but... It is very beautiful and I'm glad I have it in my club and I didn't waste too much without being able to smell it. So um, this one tends to do a good couple days and about a medium strength, like average performer. It's a pretty average performer all around. Um, but yeah, this time I don't really know exactly how it did because I couldn't smell. So yes, it was that virus that we had, um, but thankfully my nose was only gone for like a day or two. Like it came back very quickly this time. So 
I was very, very grateful for that. I was like freaking out. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't smell. What am I going to do? Um, yeah, so it was very quick, thankfully. Um, peppermint Dreams. Um, it's very, very, very pepperminty. So Peppermint Dreams, if you are a peppermint lover, I think you need to try it. Um, if you can get your hands on it or vote it back in. Yes, this one is quite intensely minty and it's a sweet mint and it's got like a hint of dark chocolate. So like, it kind of reminds me of like a York peppermint patty with that very intense mint, but sweet. And then like a little bit of dark chocolate. It is so good. So highly recommend voting this one back in if you ever see it in voting. Um, delicious. And about an average performer, like it does reasonably well, like maybe a medium, maybe six out of 10. Um, and like an average duration, like maybe a day, day and a half, like 36 hours, somewhere in there. Pretty average performer. Um, but so, so, so good. Like really like this one. Yeah, this was nice. This one is nice to have in your bedroom warmers, just to kind of have it when you're sleeping. Um, very nice. Then I got a new vendor uh, box last week from Ella Ever After Wax Co. Um, and I couldn't film it because I couldn't speak really. And my voice was so hoarse. Um, but it, I did warm one of the scents I got. It is called Hush Love Hush. It is clean, muguet, soothing chamomile, and a touch of rose. And you would never know roses in here. There is like a very light, soft, pretty floral. You would never guess it to be rose. It's not in your face at all. It's very soft. It's so pretty. It, yeah, it's chamomile. It's like very, very like soft, smooth. There's definitely vanilla in here, I think. Um, it's just very smooth, cozy, cuddly. And chamomile, maybe some lavender or whatever. I don't know what the mug you it is. It might be a flower. I don't know. Um, and rose. But yeah, very, very pretty. And I put two of the little shapes into our bedroom warmer and it went for like two days. And it was fairly light. Like I'd say like four to ten at peak in strength. But a nice background cozy bedroom scent very pretty and it did go for a couple days so that was really nice i would repurchase that and that's from ella ever after or sorry ella after wax co right now in the bedroom we have cashmere pear i did two cubes in our bedroom and it's only on its like first day so far still doing great like medium strength um cashmere pear is just beautiful it is like a warm not tart pear at all it's a sweet kind of like ambered honeyed pear. It is sweet. It's almost got like a tiny hint of like ginger, like fresh ginger, not spicy ginger at all. More like ginger ale ginger. Um, like that fresh kind of zesty ginger. Maybe. That's what my nose gets. I don't think that's in the nose. But yeah, very pretty, sweet, like beautiful pear. Like this is one of the prettiest pears I've ever smelled. Um, love cashmere pear. It was a bring back my bar quite a while ago. We need to get this one back at some point too. Love that one. Then on to my office. So my office is one where I was trying to either try new things in there or I was trying to use up things I don't really love that much. And I did cherry almond pie in there, my last two cubes. This was an example of trying to use up stuff I don't like that much. Um, cherry almond pie was bring back my bar last winter. It is like almond extract, cherry pie. Um, very heavy on the almond extract, which some people really, really like. And we don't get a lot of almond extract scents, so for those people, I'm glad it came back. Um, it wasn't a favorite of mine. I will say I did prefer it much better now that it's been aging a while. It almost turned into like a kind of creamy, smooth, like vanilla milkshake. Um, it had like milkshake vibes now. So I put it in the warmers and I did the two cubes. And it was like about a medium strength but for like six hours. And then I couldn't smell it again after like six or eight hours. Like it was just gone. And I do remember this being quite a short duration performer when it was new as well. It was much stronger when it was new, but it was a short duration performer as well then. So I think if you like almond extract scents, it's a good one because um, we don't get many of those. But other than that, it's not a fantastic performer for me. Um, and I personally don't like it enough to purchase it again. So I was happy to be done with that one. Then I did gingerbread martini. This was trying something new. This was a sample cup from Harper James. This is one of her holiday releases. And this one is like gingerbread martini. And to my nose, it's like a, it is ginger. Like there's ginger here. I also get almost like a citrusy, not really fizzy, but maybe like a citrusy component. Um, it's, there's a bit of like a sharpness to this one. Um, maybe a bit of a booziness, but like sharpness. Um, to gingerbread martini and this one was like a 
maybe light medium to medium strength in my office and it was a one dayer. Um, it lasted about a day. Did all right. Um, it's not one I would personally repurchase. I just wasn't my kind of scent, but it was nice. It was a nice change of pace and it was very different from any other Christmas smells I smelled. So that was gingerbread martini. Then I did Slytherin from the Harry Potter collection. This one was trying something new or trying something, trying to get a better sense of something. So this one is a very pretty pine tree scent. I'm very, very picky about pine tree scents. And this one has enough berry or maybe it's currant. I'm not sure if this is blackberry or black currant, but I think it's one of the two. Um, there's also maybe like moss here and like just some like green notes to kind of smooth out the actual tree notes. It's just like foresty and it's very, very nice. I love this. Um, this one did quite nicely. It was about a medium strength, lasted about a day and a half, like 36 hours or so in my office. Really enjoyed that. I do want to try this in the open layout as well. I think this would be a fantastic one for like around the holidays. Really like that one. So if you're looking for a very buried up pine scent, um, try Slytherin. If you're missing red berry and spruce from last year's catalog, this one might do the job for you. Um, if you're missing just for you, this one also is kind of similar to that to my nose. So yeah, do really like this one. And that is still available. Then in my office, one I was trying to use up. This is my home. This was Bring Back My Bar. I want to say last round or maybe the round before. This one is, I think it's like spices and like florals. It is kind of a spicy floral. There's something else here though that just hits my nose wrong. I think it's some kind of berry note and it just isn't a berry note I care for with whatever else is going on here. Um, it's got like kind of a perfuminess to it or like a dustiness. Um, I'm not sure what it is, but it reminds me of like dust. Either way, I only had two cubes left. I just wanted it finished. So I threw it in my office and let it go. Um, I don't remember smelling this. Like I put it in yesterday afternoon and then worked for an hour or so. I did smell it for that hour or so. Then I didn't go back in there. And then this morning when I went back in there, I couldn't smell it. So it was like, a, and I do remember this being quite a short duration performer. So maybe that's what it was. It didn't get any longer with age. Um, it's not a bar I like can't warm. It's not like unwarmable, but it's just not one I care for. Um, yeah, so I didn't get any more of this one. I'm done now. And it was quite a short duration performer. But yeah, if you like the scent, I think it does reasonably well for a time, um, but it's not a long lasting one. Lastly, we have the open layout, which is where I probably did the most things. Um, first thing, which is actually my warmers right now, is Saint Nickerdoodle. This one is from the Scents of the Season collection. It is still available. This one is going to be in my club forever. I love this. Mm. This one is like, I almost get like a little bit of almond here as well. Like, but like not almond extract, like toasted almond, like the almond note in almond croissant. I get that in here and I don't know, it's not in the notes. I haven't heard anyone else say that, but that's what I smell here. Um, with this like beautiful apple note, just gently spiced, like gently spiced. I think even if you're spice averse, you could probably handle this. It is like the most pretty bakery scent and it's not heavy. Like it's not, there's nothing heavy or dark or burnt about this. It is a very light, like widely appealing bakery scent to my nose. Um, it does reasonably well. It's like maybe a six or seven out of 10 in my open layout. We are now 18 hours into warming this bar though and it's doing quite well. Um, I would say it's like light now, like maybe a three or four out of 10 in strength, but it's doing quite nicely. You can smell it when you walk in. It's very pleasant and I really, really love this one. So highly recommend St. Nicodoodle to literally everybody. Next, I warmed a bar that Leslie had sent me. Um, this is Pumpkin Spice Latte from Kanapa Candle. Um, so kanapacandle.com is the name of the company. And this is Pumpkin Spice Latte. I think this one had like espresso, pumpkin, maybe like fresh grated nutmeg and stuff like that. Like I, maybe steamed milk as well. This one's just good, like so good. I was very impressed by this vendor. I have repurchased and made another order from her already. Fantastic stuff. So I highly recommend checking her out if you haven't. So I did the full bar in my open layout. I split the six cubes amongst my four warmers and it is like the most like gorgeous. It smells like walking to like a gourmet local coffee shop. Like you get like almost a little bit of like brown cinnamon sugar 
you get espresso and it's not just like flat coffee it's like espresso it's rich and deep and like robust it's so good so one thing I will say about this wax is it took quite a while to warm or to melt fully that did not impact the performance though so it took about four hours before it was fully melted in all of my warmers it seemed to melt the slowest in my element warmers even my um glimmer and glow which is like a 13 watt element warmer maybe 18 watt I can't remember it's one of the higher watt element warmers it melted the slowest in that it did the quickest in my ceramic 25 watts um so that must be the ones that are the hottest that being said it didn't matter because within like 15 minutes my house was just like enveloped in this like delicious coffee shop smell um loved it so highly recommend pumpkin spice latte or really any of her wax melts i haven't found a scent that wasn't fantastic so yeah i have nothing but great things to say about Kanapa candle love then i had done a mix oh and sorry um the pumpkin spice latte one went for like two full days and like was like a seven or eight out of ten at peak it was really really good then i did a mix I mixed two cubes in my, of, well, two brick cubes of caramel chestnut with four cubes of graham cracker crunch in the open layout. So half a cube of caramel chestnut and one cube of graham cracker crunch in each warmer. Um, so caramel chestnut's currently available. It is one of the holiday bricks. It is like a toasty caramel, like roasty, embery, like just warm, cozy caramel scent. Graham Cracker Crunch is general catalog fall and winter. It's in the bakery category. It's like crunchy peanut butter, vanilla, and like graham cracker crust. It is so good. And this one mixes well with so many things. This was actually recommended by Candle Crazed Girly over on Instagram. Um, so thank you for that recommendation. So it was really delicious. And it smelled, I will say, like exactly like you'd expect it to smell. Like if you picture in your head mixing caramel chestnut with graham cracker crunch, presuming you know what both of these smell like, um, it smelled exactly like that, and it was very delicious. It was yummy. Um, it performed very well. This went for like a full, at least 24 hours, like probably a little bit more, probably close to 32 when I took it out, um, but really, really yum. So loved that, and the ratio with this was good too. I think that was the correct ratio. It was very well balanced. You could smell equal parts of both. Very nice. The nice thing about both of those scents is that they do have like endless mixing potential. Like caramel chestnut, I can't wait to mix with some of the like smokier type scents or some of the woodsy scents to kind of make them sweeter. Um, graham cracker crunch with anything like spice, bakery, whatever you want to put with that. Even fruity stuff like berry scents are great with graham cracker crunch. Both of those scents have great mix potential. Next I did Joy and Wonder. This was one I put in the day I started decorating. So this is my Christmas decorating scent. So Joy and Wonder, it's currently in the clearance section still. This was part of the Holiday Trio last season. Um, I love this one. This one was very underrated in my opinion. It's a fantastic performer too. Always has been. So this gets going and this one is like a spiced berry kind of incense type smell. It is just like warm and deep and like very old fashioned Christmassy, not spicy. Like there's not really spice here. I think one of the spiced berries are in the notes maybe. But it's not like traditional spice. Maybe it's more like incense-y type set, like spices. I don't know. It's good. So if you like those kind of deep incense type scents, try Joy and Wonder. It's fantastic. Performance-wise, like I said, like 8 out of 10 strength. Did fantastic. Did the full bar in the open layout. So this one had been going for about a day before I lost my sense of smell. And that's how I knew I lost my sense of smell. Because I was like, I can't smell Joy and Wonder. And I know it was strong like a couple hours ago. So... That's how I kind of do. And then I was like testing and I was like, yep, yeah, sure enough, I can't smell. So I left it going. So I was like, there's no point in changing out the wax at this point because I can't smell it. So I left this going for like days. So after a couple days, my scent of smell comes back and I can still smell this. Like it's still going strong. So this one, it, all in all, ended up going for like five days. Like it went for so long. Um, love like i have a stockpile of this i might even grab another bar or two from clearance to add to my stash because i really really love this one performance is outstanding like one of the best just fantastic i can't believe that's still in clearance from last year like it is so good next i did sips of cider and this is one i just did in the open layout by itself i wanted to test it by itself so i did six cubes in the open layout and this one is like a very bright light like orange juice apple juice like lemon cider scent it is not as spicy and not as deep and rich as most cider scents this is much lighter um 
and I prefer it. Like, I really like this one. This is almost like a, like, orange and lemon tea or something along that line. Um, very, very nice. Um, and for an orange scent, does better than you might expect it to. Uh, it lasted longer than I expected it to based on all the citrus in the notes. It did, like, a full 24 hours, which is more than I expected, and was very nice. Like, a nice medium strength in the open layout, even with just the six cubes, was good. Everyone in my household enjoyed this one, and I do plan to get more. Um, I also want to play with mixes with this. I think this one lends itself very well to mixing with any of your, like, berry-type holiday scents. So, like, Very Merry Cranberry, um, Cranberry Orange Cider, I think would mix very well with this. Um, any of your, like, berry-type scents, or even some of your spices. I think Christmas Cottage would be great with this, even Be Merry, um, Pomegranate Prosecco, any of those type scents I think would have mixed very nicely with this. And so I, I can't wait to play with some more mixes for that. And probably the like last thing I did, the furthest back, um, was a very snowy day and I did this mix. This is Cloven Cinnamon with Cinnamon Buttercream. Cloven Cinnamon is just Cloven Cinnamon, general catalog scent. You can also get it in dressed up packaging in the Scents of the Season collection. Um, and this one is just like traditional spicy. Like traditional clove, you have to like clove. Um, and cinnamon buttercream. So cinnamon buttercream is like Italian buttercream, mascarpone, and like sugar, vanilla, I don't know. It is a less sweet frosting scent. It does have some tang from that mascarpone note. That is not my favorite thing. This is one that I keep on hand only for mixing. And I thought, because I wanted something to kind of smooth this out a little bit and just kind of cream it up. So I thought cinnamon buttercream might lend itself well to that because it has spice already in it too. So it did pair well, and it was a very strong mix. So I did one cube of each together in warmers. So four cubes of this, four cubes of this, and just mix them in the warmers. Strong, like eight out of 10, very strong, very house filling, um, and a good couple days, like maybe two and a half days. It was a nice long lasting mix. Um, what I will say is that the cinnamon buttercream, I thought you might need more of it because cloven cinnamon is quite strong in the package. I thought I might need to adjust my ratios later, but I didn't. I actually found cinnamon buttercream in a one-to-one -one ratio overpowered cloven cinnamon, which really surprised me um, because usually like a, a like frosting type scent will not overpower a spice scent, but this one did. And it was the cheese note that came through the most. So it was like, a, it was a nice mix, but like it was just a little heavy on the tang for me. Um, Probably wouldn't use cinnamon buttercream with this scent again. Um, I think if I were to do another mix with this one, I would do it with vanilla bean buttercream, um, just personal preference. But I know a lot of people do love cinnamon buttercream. If you do like it, I think this is a good mix. Um, there are scents that I prefer mixing with cinnamon buttercream. It turns out cloven cinnamon is not one of them. So that was that. It performed amazingly well. I think if you like cinnamon buttercream, you'll enjoy that mix. And that was that. And that is everything I've warmed over the last couple weeks. So thank you for sticking through this long of a video. I will try to get back onto a weekly schedule now. I just literally couldn't talk last week. So what could you do? Um, feeling good now, all good to go. I would love to know what you were warming as we get into like closer to the middle of November, what you're warming, what the weather is like where you live. We are in full winter now. It is like there's snow on the ground, has been for quite some time. It is full winter. But yes, that is what I've been up to. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.